is it? It's a horseshoe crab. No, it's a hermit crab. No, it's a horseshoe crab. I'm older than you and I'm telling you it's a hermit crab. Well, actually, that's a very common coast-dwelling decapod in the Pigeridae family. This is actually more closely related to a lobster than a crab. just helping to educate the young minds, Paco. I'm sure they appreciated it. I don't think so. I think we had enough sun for today, Paco. and a couple bugs for me to fix. Are you okay? Oh, I'm just fine, Professor, and it's great to see you. Hola, Paco. Hola, Scuba Jack. What are you doing here, and buried on the beach in the sand? I was lying on the beach, and next thing I knew, these two little kids were burying me. I must have been snoozing. <laughs> well, anyway. I found some really cool sea creatures. Do you have time? Of course, you know I love science and learning. Let's go. Here he is, right here. I actually stepped on the little guy, but this tough shell protected him. It sure hurt my foot. Exactly. The shell home of this little crustacean is really an abandoned gastropod shell. The exoskeleton of a mollusk is made up of calcite and calcium carbonate, much like our bones are made of. Wow, that's amazing. But why do they live in a mollusk shell? Well, when the little crab is not in a shell, his back is very weak and it needs protection. So the crab finds a shell that he thinks is right for him and climbs on it. When they grow up and get too big for the shell, they walk around until they find another shell that's a little bit bigger. Then they get out of their old shell and climb into their new home. Congre hole. Congre what? Congre hole. That is a word in Spanish for crab. Can you kids at home say congrejo? Congrejo! Muy bien! All this talk of crabs and mollusks is making me hungry. So I think I'm going to go get some lunch. Okay, adios, Scuba adios, Jack. Taco. Adios, Professor. Adios, Buenos dias. Later. Hey, look at this. Oh, that right there? That's a Limulus polyphemus. A Limulus poly, what's it? Well, yeah, a Limulus polyphemus. It's a horseshoe crab, Scuba Jack. Horseshoe crab, what incredible luck. And you know, I heard that horseshoe crabs have been around for a long time. Oh yeah, before man and even before dinosaurs. Before dinosaurs? Are you putting me on, Professor? Am I putting you on what, Scuba Jack? Never mind, what else can you tell us about horseshoe crab? Well, my friend Miss Wendy can tell us a whole lot more about them. And we can go see a bunch of other sea creatures. Are you interested? Do you want to go? Yeah, let's go. Okay, but I'll have to transport you first because the Starlink hasn't been working like it should be. Well, that's okay. I'll try it. Ready when you are, Professor. Okay, hold on to your snorkel. <gasps> Professor Galaxy! Sorry, Scuba Jack, the relay that controls the cell emitter is off adjustment. I predict it's misaligning minutes per millennium. A simple calibration of the time... Please, space. Professor! Oh, yeah, sorry, Scuba Jack. Here we go. That should do it. Scuba Jack? Are you at the science center? Scuba Jack? Hmm. <gasps> 
Professor? Scuba Jack! Professor Galaxy? Hey! Professor? 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 I'm up here, Scuba Jack. Galloping seahorses! I thought I had the styling fixed, but I guess it's still... Whoa! Broken. Oh, geez, that was fun. Wow. Well, I guess we're already at the Seacoast Science Center, so, well, let's go in. Oh, I can't go in looking like this, Scuba Jack. I had to put on my lab coat. Well, it doesn't seem right at all. No, it, it sure doesn't. Yar me, Hardy. I don't think that's right, neither. Scurvy. <clears throat> no, this is definitely not right, Scuba Jack. <laughs> well, that's more like it. Yeah, it sure is, Scuba Jack. All right, Professor, let's go. Hi, Miss Wendy. Hi, Professor Galaxy. This is my friend, Scuba Jack. Hey, Scuba Hi. Jack. Nice Hi. to meet you. And we were just wondering if you could tell us a little about the coast dwelling marine life. Oh, we sure can. We do that here at the Seco Science Center every day. Come on in. Well, here we are. Wow, wow. look at that. This is the skeleton of Tofu. It's a young humpback whale. All of these exhibits tell her story, which is the story of the ecology of the Gulf of Maine humpback whales. Wow, we do have lots of cool stuff we here. certainly do. Can we see some more? Absolutely, let's go. Wow! How cool is this? You, you brought the entire ocean inside. This is our touch tank. We were actually just at the beach talking about hermit crabs and horseshoes. Well, you know, we've got some hermit crabs in this tank right over here. These guys are so amazing. You can see there, it's actually a kind of crab that lives in a shell that's been made and abandoned by a periwinkle in this case. And then, guess what happens when the animal gets too big to live in this shell? He moves to another shell. Yes, he does. And so he crawls out and he looks around and tries to find a bigger shell that he can fit in. Wow, that is great. What other kinds of creatures are in this pool? Well, most of the people get very excited about our sea stars. And there's one right over here. These guys have two feet that are like on a hydraulic system. So they take seawater in through here and then they use it to extend their feet out so that they can move around. It's pretty, pretty incredible. Now, Miss Wendy. Yes? How come this starfish only has four legs? Well, it actually lost one. Somewhere in its life, it lost, a, well, we call them arms, actually, not legs. You can keep it on the water a little bit so it can breathe. And you can see it's starting to grow back right here. And sea stars have this amazing ability to regenerate their body. There's one over there that only has three arms. And as long as there's a piece of that central body on there, they can regenerate an entirely new sea star. Hey, look at this muscle shell. But there's no muscle in it. And you know what? It has a little hole in it. Yeah, it has a perfectly drilled little bitty hole. Now, who made that? I sure don't know. Well, could you believe that it was made by this guy? Oh, this is a dog well. They are snails, like periwinkles, but you see that notch on it right there? Yeah. These guys are predators, and they hunt by smell. So their siphon, which is like a nose, comes out that little notch, and they cruise around in the rocks, and then they smell for their prey. And this is one of the things that they eat. And the way they do it is pretty amazing. First, they have this special organ that's like a tongue. It's called the accessory boring organ. And they stick it out onto the shell and that dissolves the stuff that holds the crystals in the shell together. Then they take their teeth and they go scrape, scrape, scrape. So they go dissolve, 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 scrape, scrape, scrape. Then they make that perfect hole. And then they take their teeth, that are like three prongs that they've used for scraping, and they go in and they grab the meat and then they eat it just like that. Delicious. Yum. What about one of these ones? Oh, now that's a sea urchin. Oh, don't touch it, school Jack. Oh, you touch it. Yeah, it's that spiking. Is, it's spiking. Some people call them little pin cushions. These guys have these spines on them that they use in part for defense. And then they have, they have two feet too, just the way the sea stars do, that they use for moving around. And sometimes you can see them where they actually put things on top of their heads. These guys have a very different mouth. But see that special mouth over there? Oh, yeah. 
Well, inside they have special teeth, five teeth, and they are the kings of rasping. Now, that's Wendy, I don't see any Limulus polyphemus in here. Limulus poly... Oh, horseshoe crabs. Oh, of course you wouldn't see any horseshoe crabs in here. This is the rocky shore. Limulus polyphemus, the horseshoe crab, is in the salt marsh. We have a salt marsh tank. You want to go take a look? Yeah, we sure do. Okay. So, Wendy, is it true that horseshoe crabs are actually older than people and older than dinosaurs? Well, the basic body plan is over 350 million years old. So the individual animal isn't older than we are, but as far as the group of horseshoe crabs, they are very ancient and unchanged all that time. And what do they eat? Well, actually, they kind of eat just about everything. And they like to dig around, they get clams, worms, they'll eat algae, they'll sort of eat whatever you want, we call them omnivores. But the cool thing about it is they don't have any specialized mouth parts. So if they have to break, break open a clam shell or something, they actually use their legs to break the shell. Well, Miss Wendy, I see he's got some eyes there on his shell, and I think he's looking at me. Well, he might. You know, horseshoe crabs have five eyes on the top of their shells, and then two special ones underneath near their mouth that they use so they can see the bottom as they move along. Wow. Underwater vision. Yeah, it's incredible. Well, thank you so much. We've learned so much here today at the Seacoast Science Center. Thank you for telling us all about these great creatures. Oh, well, we have a lot more that we could talk about. Maybe you can come back sometime and we could talk about whales. That sounds great. Okay, come on, I'll walk you out. All right. Well, thanks again, Wendy. That was really great. Oh, well, thank you very much. It was great having you here. It was fun. We're gonna, we're gonna head on back to the beach. See if you want to come oh, with us. Oh boy, I wish I could, but we've got so much work to do here at the Seco Science Center. We have kids coming in every, every day, and I hope you guys are gonna come back whenever you want. Well, we definitely will. Well, let's get going, Professor. You ready, Scuba Jack? I'm ready. Bye, Miss Wendy. Bye. Let's put the puzzle together and see what the picture is. Can you guess what this is? How about now? Not yet? It's a hermit crab. How about this one? Can you tell? It's a sea star. Can you guess what this is? How about now? Horseshoe crabs. Hola, children. Today, Paco is going to teach you all about one of the greatest things in life. Next to tasty fish, of course. And that is colors. Colors make the world beautiful. Rainbows, green grass, pretty flowers, and you and me. Whoa. What color is these fish? Red? Yeah! Very good. Do you know how to say red in Spanish? It's rojo. Rojo. How about this fish? It's blue. Blue? Very good. In Spanish, it's azul. Azul means blue. You say it too. Azul. Very good. Muy bien. What color is this fish? Green. Green. Muy bien. 
The Spanish word for green is verde. You say it too. Verde. Verde. Very good. How about this one? It's yellow. Yellow. Well, the Spanish word for yellow is amarillo. Can you say amarillo? Amarillo. Muy bien. Very good. And here is another fish. What color is it? Orange. Orange. Anaranjado. Can you say that? Anaranjado. Anaranjado. Muy bien. Whoa. What color is this piece here? Purple. Purple. Morado. You say it too. Can you say morado? Morado. Or here's the fish. This one is brown. Can you say marron? Marron. Muy bien. Very good. This fish here, this one is white. In Spanish, white is blanco. Can you say blanco? Blanco. Blanco. Very good. This fish here is black. In Spanish, black is negro. Can you say negro? Negro. Negro. Very good. Muy bien. Hi kids, Captain Joe here. Today we're going to learn all about the months of the year. There are 12 months in the year. Why don't we go take a look? Happy New Year kids! It's the start of a brand new year. It's January. Hey kids, can you guess what this month is? This month has Valentine's Day in it. Yeah, you're right. It's February. Hey kids, can you guess what this month is? It has St. Patrick's Day in it. You guessed it. It's March. I bet you all know what this month is. By the ears on my head, it has Easter in it. You guessed it. It's April. This month has Mother's Day in it. It's May. So, happy Mother's Day, Mom. Oh, thank you very much. The next three months are the summer months. We get to have fun on the beach. It's June, July, and August. And in July, kids, we celebrate Independence Day, which is the birth of our country. And this month, kids, is the beginning of fall. That's right, it's September. All right, kids, I think we all know what this month is. It has Halloween in it. That's right, it's October. Hey, kids, we're coming in the end of the year. This month, has Thanksgiving in it. Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's November. Ho 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 kids, I bet you all can guess what this month is. It has Christmas in it. It's the last month of the year. You guessed it, it's December. Thanks for playing kids. I hope you had as much fun as I did. We'll see you next time. Bye now.
money. <laughs> hey kids, do you want to go hunting for shapes? There's shapes all around you. Your neighborhood is the jungle. Do you want to go find some? Let's go. Whoa, what are we going to hunt for around here, kids? Circles? Do you see any around here? Where? Oh, there's one. Is there any more? Oh, there's one too. Hey kids, do you see any more circles around here? Oh, there's one right there. Can you see any more circles? Oh, there's one right there. Wow, kids. Do you see any more circles around here? Where? Oh, yeah. There's one there in that jungle gym. See kids? Frisbee is a game you play with a flying disc, which is like a circle. Throw it back! <laughs> See? Circles! Oh. You see any circles here? That's right. That's a circle under my feet. Whoa! That's right, kids. This is a circle. Actually, it's a sphere, just like our planet. You want to go try to find some other spheres? Let's go. That's right, kids. A basketball is also a sphere. Thanks for playing. This is more like it. Good friends, perfect weather, and a beautiful ocean to look at. I agree. This is the life. Good times indeed, friends. Let's just relax until the sun sets. Hey! Hey, you! I think it's time to go. I think we better leave, Professor. Nah. I fixed the Starlink earlier today. We're gonna beam right out of here. Hang on. Professor! Professor!
Bill, every time we go on these great adventures, and today it was the coastline creatures, and it's just, it's so much fun. And then we get to the end of the day, and I feel so mellow, and I just want to, I want to have some more fun, and, and just keep it going, you know? Well, I don't know, I guess we're just mellow. Hey, Professor Galaxy! Ooh. How's it going? What do we have here, Scooter Jack? Hey, do you know how to play guitar? Well, I was reading up on one just on the way over here, but I don't know if I know how to play. Well, I don't know. Let's try something. Well, let me get in the upbeat. mood. Upbeat. I came prepared, Scooter Jack. Oh, all right! Well, here we go. Count it off, Paco. Uno, dos, uno, dos, tres. Oh, that's more like it! I think I got it. Well, oh, you're really rocking now. We're gonna keep the party going. Thank all you guys for joining us today on this great adventure. Paco and the professor and all those great coastline creatures. And I tell you, I hope someday you'll be coming back to join us all again on Scuba Jack, a Scuba Jack. Professor, you're like a rock star. Oh, give me a break. It's all you. Kind of a geeky one. <laughs> right on, Professor. Hey! Right on, Paco. It's time to scoop the jazz. Yeah.